All right, in this video, we're going to talk about a quick shortcut uh, to create a work order uh, from the asset record and, and then to see all the work related on an asset. It's pretty easy. So here's an asset record. Here's our triplex pump we've been working with for a while. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and the select action menu and create service request incident problem. We're going to do work order. All right. Now, this little pop-up comes up. Here's the work order number that it wants to assign. It's going to auto number. I'm going to give this a priority two. Uh, we'll go ahead and annual servicing of triplex uh, pump number 12. Reported date. I can change this if I want. Reported by. Uh, I could select a person if, if I'm playing the role of data entry for the day or, or if, if someone left early or, or a re reporting on behalf of then I could change that. I could change the time here. I could put in the you know fancy little text about it. Uh, and but it, this is a real simple way just to get this party started, so to speak. So I'm going to click OK and work order 1210 has been created. Now I'm going to go to work tab and then here it is. Here's the work order. This is the work order created. You can see there's another one that uh, I made earlier, right? Now, if we had service requests, there would be one here. Let's make one real quick. So, create service request. Uh, we're going to say priority one. Uh, uh, won't turn on. Won't turn on. There we go. Reported by affected person. Uh, then we just hit OK. And then, boom, here's our service request. We created a service request. It shows up as a ticket. I know it's uh, not the same name, but it's just. You know, Maximo sees it the same thing. So let's go take a look. With the detail menu, you can go straight to this work order tracking. Now, because we came here from assets, the the navigation bar here is grayed out, and our only navigation option is to return to that asset. So we'll just take a look at this work order real quick. There's no type. There's no failure class. Uh, none of this. Uh, it, I mean, it shows asset up. No start. No finish. No job plan. No nothing. And the status is waiting approval. So that's their basic status. Now here is where we could go. We could fill in more detail about this work order. We click the save and then we're out. Right? Uh, as we saw in the previous asset video, uh, we saw how to do downtime. We could report downtime. Uh, where is it? Report downtime right from this work order. Uh, just as we saw in the other video. And, and it works the same exact way. And then if you remember in the downtime line, it would show this particular work order number 1210 in that in that line. But we're not going to fill anything out. We'll just say, OK, this is where we would fill it out. We're going to hit return and it brings us right back to our asset, right back to our triplet pump. And that's how to create uh, a work order or service request from the asset record. It's a uh, it's pretty easy, pretty time saving. And it automatically assigns the asset and all the asset information to include location and GL accounts. It automatically assigns all of that right to the work order for you. So in essence, if you're just making one work order, this is probably a quicker way. You just go to the asset, make sure you have the right asset, and it hit to create work and, and, and jump right to the work order and finish it out.